gonna tell you a little bit about Mukison. This is the house where we did 10,000 handmade lonely mountains, and it took us basically two months to hand saw everything. <laughs> anyway, I'll take you for a ride. <coughs> I'm gonna show you the shirts. It's like crows on top, and only dead people next to you. It's like. <laughs> There was this lady who, who, is, who, who like vacuums the church and takes care of it. And she uh, she came in there by a surprise when I was doing Patrick Swayze the song. And uh, anyway, after that, it, which is it's quite a scary song. It's like very devilish. And after that, uh, everybody here in this town, you know, thought I was worshipping the devil. I've been doing like plenty of gigs last year, and uh, and I did the Niceland record, and and then I decided to do this this one, the Muki Mama one. I've been really busy last year, and the only only way to see my friends and to be with my girlfriend was to. Uh, to include them in, in, the, in, the, in the process. We'll make this one quick because it's quite dangerous. Rocks are falling down. Anyway, um, I'd like to tell you a little bit about Muki Mama, recorded here in the West Fjords. It's all done on one small computer and one really cheap microphone. Uh, every song there has, like, <laughs> like a, uh, <laughs> every song has its own story, which I guess would take me ages to tell you about. And don't think you should anyway tell tell what your songs are about. Uh, every song there has its own own kind of story. Uh, and I like the way how how these. Let's go. Let's go. Uh, another, another, a bit risky scenery because it's all wet, you know, the, the rocks tend to... Uh, I don't know actually why we're doing this. We just had a baby and... <laughs> Mugi Mamo was really uh, successful here in Iceland for some reason. <laughs> about how I got signed to uh, Accidental because uh, I really love Matthew's music I decided to send him a love letter and, uh, and, and a CD I decided to send to this other label but I didn't have any CD so uh, I, I farted in a jar and sealed it blah 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 anyway uh, two weeks later nobody had replied except the love letter which was then later Accidental Records and then uh, the fart guys you know, of course. And the reason why I told you this fast story was because this kind of looks like...